What's going on everybody, it's Delmar and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm really excited to continue with the Pico 4 development tutorials where I'm gonna be showing you how to enable see-through capabilities, which in the meta world is called and referred to as pass-through. So I'm gonna be walking you through a script that we have to implement. Basically, we're gonna be changing and assigning a couple different properties to the camera and also making an SDK call, which is going to basically enable see-through features. So let's jump into my computer and I start working on it. All right, guys, so let me show you what we need to do today to enable what's called see-through and Meta calls it pass-through. So the first thing that I'm gonna do, and I'm gonna do everything here through a script. And the reason for that is because we could enable it by doing things manually and then add a small script to do something else. But I'm gonna do everything through a script so that we don't have to worry about what we need to do to be able to enable all the pass-through features. So what I did is just created a see-through component. So I'm just gonna go ahead and double click on that. The first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be passing in a camera. So we can just say, normally I just do private and then we can say camera, main camera. And the reason why I do private is because serializable, it's going to expose it anyway through the inspector. I'm also going to be adding another property here, which is gonna determine at what point we're going to be enabling a see-through. And I'm having a hard time saying see-through because again, Meta calls it pass-through. So that's how I normally refer to it. And I'm sure that you guys also do the same thing. So what I'm gonna do here is by default, we can just say, you know, enable it after one second. And the other thing that I'm gonna do is on the awake method, we're going to be searching and, and making sure that the camera has been referenced. If it hasn't, we can just get it from the actual component. So we can say if this is equal, equal to no. If it is no, we're gonna try to get it from this component. You can just say camera. And obviously there's many ways that you can do that you can do this. And the other thing that I can do is if the main camera has been set, then we can make sure that we do what we're gonna be doing in the script. Otherwise, we can just print some information. We can say log an error. And if this error comes up, we can say main camera needs to be referenced or add it to this component, something like that, so that we know what's happening. And if you're doing the Android logcat, you're gonna be able to see that information but the first thing that we need to do is we need to make sure that this camera has solid color so i'm just gonna do main camera camera and then you can say clear flags and then we're gonna be setting that to solid color make sure that you do that and then i'm also going to be setting the color of the camera we need to make sure that it is set to a zero all the way across including red blue and green and also the alpha needs to be set to zero so we're going to be doing zero here, zero, 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 zero. That way it, it follows what the uh, documentation for Pico 4 suggested to do. And then what I'm gonna do here is we're gonna be calling, calling a call routine. And this call routine, it's going to be the one that actually enables the pass through. So we're gonna do that. So let's go ahead and create it. Let's do private. And then it's gonna be I enumerator. Make sure that you do that. And then we can say toggle see through. And then we can say bull, whether we're gonna be enabling this or not. Let me go ahead and scroll down so you guys can see it. So this one we can say yell, and then we can return new, and then we can wait for as many seconds as we specify in our uh, flow right above it. And if it hasn't been, you know, the second, then it's going to return until it gets to one second, and then it's going to be calling what we need to call, which is going to be PXR underscore boundary. And if you do control period there, we should be able to bring in the using statement. And Visual Studio also corrected my, my typo, which is great. So we can just say, you know, enable, whether we want to enable it or not. And we can do something like that. Or you can just set it to true if you just want to just set it to true without having to, you know, to actually pass in a boolean so the reason why i did it this way is because i may want to turn it on and off so we can just have something more flexible so in here we can say is it start core routine we can pass in you know the actual core routine that we're going to be executing and obviously in this case we're going to be saying true and we can just remove those two comments the the other problem that you may have if your app goes into if you pass the app or suspend it 
and then try to get back into it. The PXR boundary is going to be set to disable by default. So they recommend, and when I say they, Pico recommends that you implement the pause. So on the pause, we can do something like private and actually we can say on pause, which we should have in here. There we go. On application pause. So if we're not currently pausing, we want to make sure that, you know, if we're going, if we're coming from, you know, being passed to no pausing, we want to make sure that we enable these one more time. So what I'm going to do here is for not pausing, I'm going to just go ahead and set these to true. And that's technically everything that we need to do to, to make it work. So again, we're just going to be referencing a camera or adding it to this component. You can also add a required component at the very top and you don't have to do any of these checks. But if you want to have it flexible, you can do it this way. And then we're going to check and see if the main camera is null. If it's null, we're going to set it to use the component. If these two conditions here do not work, then we're going to get into the else and then you're going to be able to see that in your logs that is currently having an issue. Otherwise, we're going to be setting the clear flags to solid color and then the background is going to be set to 000, which is going to be basically setting the color to black and then transparency it's going to be all the way up and then we're going to be starting the coroutine and basically setting the pass through or the see through to actual true and then on application pass we want to make sure that we do re-enable the see through by calling the enable see through manual so now let's go into unity and this demo in here, it's basically what I had on the previous video. If you haven't watched this video, make sure that you watch that video above, which is going to walk you through how to set up Pico 4 with Unity. So what I'm going to do here is I already cloned this getting started scene. So you can just go ahead and clone it based on that repo that it is available in my GitHub. And then all you need to do is we just I just name it see through. And if you go here into complete XR origin setup, you're going to see that we have here the XR origin, we want to expand camera offset, main camera, and at the very end of this, and, and like I said, you could go in here and then just set these to, you know, solid color and then set the colors in here, 0000, and then that would work, but you still need to call the, you know, the SDK call to enable the C pass through. But instead, we just do it through a script, so we can do a component. And then we can just say enable see through. And again, you don't need to reference the camera if you don't want to. I'm just going to do it just to show you. And then we can say enable it after, I don't know, we can say a tenth of a second. And that way when it comes up, it's just going to enable the see through right away. So that's honestly everything that you need to do to make that work. Let me show you how that works by actually deploying that to the device. All right, guys, so I got these deployed and you guys can see that the whole scene it's working with looks interesting because I have some continuous movements. So I can basically do teleporting. I can move around. I can pick different items, but you can see the background shows and we can see the pass through currently working. I was pretty impressed uh, how amazing this looks by enabling pass through the whole scene works and I was able to enable it without any issues. You will get a, a little pop-up that says if you want to enable basically the pass-through, the see-through to work. And that's really all I had to do after deploying these to the actual device. So that's everything that I wanted to show you guys today. And also I wanted to invite you to Patreon where I'm basically making code like this available on a weekly basis. So make sure you check it out and look at the tier for full access to source code. Thank you very much, guys.